I paint because... The simple answer would be I paint because I can. Um, I have these thoughts or emotions or images that come to my mind and I just want to get them down on paper. I want to express them in the way that I feel as exactly and painting is the quickest way that I can do that. Um, yes, I've been doing that since I was very small. Um, I think some people can talk, some people can sing um, to express and for me um, it's, it's about using colour to express these feelings. I'm not good with words so I think um, just being able to accurately show in forms and colours how I feel um, is is the is a practice that's very very close to me. Before I was a painter, I was a chemical engineer. Um, this is what I did my graduate studies in and I went on to do product development and also formulation chemistry in a cosmetics company um, and I transitioned into being a painter just about two years ago. When I chose to enter university I was 14 years old and <laughs> So that was incredibly young and yes there was, I did actually want to go into the direction of art but there was also a discussion with my parents where we, we all knew that art was a, and it still is, a very difficult path. Mainly my concept and what I want to tell through my art is um, I just wish for an audience, for someone viewing my art to feel a sense of relaxation um, and it's part of because I'm from New Zealand and I'm from a very laid-back country and I found myself in Tokyo where everybody seems to be so busy all the time and me myself having experienced corporate Tokyo I wanted to create something that allowed that when people saw it allowed them to um, relax a little bit and let loose. I've had several experiences not so pleasant um, as a female working individual, not particularly um, limited to art but even when I was working corporate as well and also doing other things that I have felt those unpleasantries um, and some of it is because our society is unfortunately structured um, I have had instances where I was with a male counterpart of mine and we were all having a conversation and on numerous occasions um, it was the it was the, the my male counterpart who ended up getting his contacts asked and his his may she asked and, and then I was just um, left with compliments of how good I looked that day or an invitation to drinks on another occasion. Um, so sometimes I feel that it is difficult definitely but I don't think that is, I don't think, um, I'm, I'm not really upset by it. I think it's something I have grown to expect um, and sort of try to bypass and by bypassing and finding people, finding my group who treat me in an equal manner, um, I have found that those relationships were always constructive and I'm kind of grateful um, for that because seeing this negative side of society made me seek out 
um, people who are not. <laughs> and now I feel like I'm very much involved with these people. Um, so, yes, it's, it's manageable. <laughs>